Hello, dear folks, lovely audiences, my dear friends. Welcome to the East West Show.、Uh, once again, it is our weekly update. This week goes very fast. Yeah, right, <laughs> very fast. And with me is my good friend, Mr. Ken Hemming.、Uh, Ken is a、uh, is a friend that we go for many many years back, and、uh, he earned his trust. Uh, both from me and the community. Thank you. And by、uh, expressing himself totally thoroughly, and with the、uh, fundamental love to the community. Absolutely. And with, with the unconditional love to constitution. Yes. That I adore a lot. Thank you. And for that we become friends for, well, a lifetime. Eternity.、Right? Okay, eternity. And、uh, that said, though. Uh, we argue. We do argue sometimes. We argue, like I said, only to make a point, the point、right. clear or something, not to make enemies. So, in other words, in this world, talking, arguing, well, they're the same. They're, you sometimes can talk, sometimes can argue. However, they are different from sanctions. Now, see, the nice thing is we debate with mutual respect. Right, right, right. That's the key. So my point is that they are different from sanctions. They are. If I sanction, I, I sanction you for you or disagreement, your、right. disagreement with me, or vice versa. You do the same thing to me, though. Right. Well, so we we got a better choice. All right. Okay. Now, to start with the weekly update with my friend Ken Hemming. Uh, we want to first to touch base with you on this、uh, trade issue, or trade、uh, conflict issue, call、mm-hmm. it that way, in between United States and China. Right.、Uh, what's your take about what's happening now? Well, you know what it seems like it's it's a, the circumstance of tit for tat. Okay.、Mm-hmm. There are tariffs when we send our. Are it merchandise to China,、mm-hmm. and there are also circumstances where we have to give up our technology、mm-hmm. to be able to function in China,、mm-hmm. and 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 one of the biggest things I worry about is technology and our our、uh, maintaining superior. Technology in America as compared to the rest of the world,、mm-hmm. so I worry about that. And then, so when we have tariffs, then right now what's happening is President Trump is talking about having some tariffs going back that way to sort of offset、mm-hmm. the tariffs that we face、mm-hmm. to try to level out our trade、uh, imbalance. It's a big imbalance now, five hundred billion dollars a year. And you know, I, I can't sit here and say I, I know that、uh, uh, imbalance is good or bad, but I do want to be on a level playing field in negotiation.、Mm-hmm. All right, it sounds like a、uh, a reasonable take. I think it's reasonable. But I'm going to share with you my take. Before、mm-hmm. my take, I, before I display my take, I want to first touch base with you with my audience about where I'm from. Yes,、Now. sir. To me, China is my homeland. Yes, sir. Right, that I will never betray. Of course. And that day I betray, got to be over my dead body. Okay. Right now, United States, upon the moment when I swore in, is my country. It's my lovely country. Yes, sir. Where I plan to end up this life with. Yes, sir. Okay. So by that I mean. The last thing I could allow people do over my dead body is to hurt United States. Absolutely.、Right. So by that, I mean laying that up front as where I am to position myself as my uh, 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 where I am. I would say there's nothing worse than seeing U.S. and China do not get along. Well, I'll certainly ag- that is agree、exactly、with that. Exactly where I'm from, right? However, I do agree. Number one, we are from different systems, right? Quite so. We share the different value systems. Yes, sir. And we have the different philosophies. Yes, Conceptually, sir. Conceptually, we are totally orange and an apple. Yeah, we are. Right.、Okay. Right. So that is fact. And number two fact is that, as the president of the United States, he would do whatever he has to do in his power. Or he can do within his power to do his job as the president of the United States. 
Do you think so? Well, his number one responsibility is protecting oh, our yeah. country. Uh, protect the United States. Right. And in, to, 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 to China, Mr. Xi Jinping, President Xi Jinping, shares the same thing. He has to do everything or anything he has, like his resources, to protect China as president of, uh, of China. So each of them doing their job, I have no problem with, mm -hmm. right? It's exactly like myself. I will do, in my position, I'll do everything within my power, within my range, to, I mean, for the benefit of EDI, mm -hmm. right? Now, for oh, the sure, benefit sure. of the show. To defend EDI, to defend show, if anything goes wrong against the show, against EDI, in my position, it is my only and the last whatever priority. Yeah, right? yeah. First, last, only, everything, the only thing. Right. right. That's not true. It's the same thing. You've been thing. here a long it's time. understood. Yeah. By that, I don't blame Donald Trump for doing what he does, and I don't blame Xi Jinping for what he does. However, I'm just checking with you, right? Mm -hmm. If you will agree or will not agree with me, so you say say what you take. There is always, there is always other ways to do things. Yes. For example, the North Peninsula, the Korean Peninsula situation has been improving. We well, hope. We hope. Only about two or three months ago, we were talking about attack, 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 attack. That was the only talk. Right. That's right. And by that at that time, though, we thought, well, attacking was probably the only solution, the only mm -hmm. way to go. Now, all of a sudden, we found out, all right, talking is a lot better than attacking each other. If the talks are sincere and trustworthy, and that's what that's the unknown part. Okay, you will yeah. find out find that find out. We'll that find later. out in May. We'll find out later. Right. right? Okay. That's right. Now it is, well, I call it detente. It's a pause. So you got a pause, okay? Yeah. Now, well, the well, pause, even pause, even yeah. the pause, or even the doing nothing <laughs> is better yeah. than a war. If a pause lasts till I, I die, right? okay, it's now, good. <laughs> okay, now, back to the point, though. Yeah. To the U.S.-China trade conflict, so, do you think sanction is the only, only way to do? It's well, the only choice. Well, is there anything better than that? For well, example, our talk? To, you know, talking is always wonderful if it's from two sides with equal sincerity and trustworthiness, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay? Um, but sometimes to get the attention of the other side, you have to, uh, you know, be a little bit uh, uh, forceful. Mm -hmm. and, 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 I, and I do think that's what President Trump is actually rather brilliant at. Uh, you know, those tariffs that were we're trying to uh, place upon certain imports from China to offset tariffs that they do put upon us, okay? We can't deny they don't exist, they exist, uh, is uh, we've, we've uh, accepted uh, as exemptions many countries that we are not giving us a problem in, in the trade circumstance. So, mm -hmm. so by doing that, I think it brings the Chinese to the table and, and even one of the uh, economic top people in China had said that, yes, it's time to talk and we're, you know, we're a little bit open to reducing the tariffs that they're charging America right now. Now, I don't uh, know what that means at all, okay. but, but, but they're, they're, you know, so it's, you know, I agree. President Trump's a great I negotiator. I agree only half of what you said. Okay. Right, only half. The only Not half bad. I agree with you is about, well, is about the part that we're going to end up talking anyway. Well, we we'll end up are with going to end up talking anyway. I bet on that. But we because, end up because we are in a situation that nobody, neither China nor the United States, is is able to afford to break up. Well, we're not going to break up. You know, I, I don't right. think. No, 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 no. Yeah. By saying that, by you saying, I know you are very protective to Donald Trump. No, I to my country. My no, 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 no. Yeah. I do that. Well. Yeah. Our country. That's exactly right. I yeah. protect. I don't protect Donald if Trump. If you say I, I like my his country over ever again, I'm going to call off the show. Well, I'm just talking, Jack. I, it, it, I warned you several times. Yeah. Do not say that it is your country. It is our country. That's fine. Right. Thank yeah. you very much. Okay. That, now, I I do the part I do not agree with you is that we are saying right now they are in the tension already. 
Right. If we want to help, we want to lose up the tension. Right. We want to lose up the tension. So that is why you and I discuss about it. We want to lose up. We want to help. Right. So by adding anything, any weight on either side is wrong. It's the wrong pushing. See, I believe that mm -hmm. uh, the tariffs will will be a factor in loosening up the tensions because it will give greater desires to communicate with each other to um, uh, uh, make certain compromises. Uh, so I believe yeah. the tariffs are a part of the t loosening of tension good point. process. Good point. All right, good. Uh, my dear friends, today with uh, Brother Ken Hemming, we're talking about, uh, we're doing a weekly update though. What comes up to the first item of yeah. the update is the U.S.-China trade tariff, uh, I call it a, only a, a, a niche and a conflict. Yeah. It's not a, a terrorist it's, war yet, not that, that thing. Oh, it's not right? going to be. So not going to be. Uh, not, not, well, never going to be. All right. No. So let's take a short moment out. And when we come back, we'll probably still uh, meander on that issue a little bit to make my points, or our points, or everybody's yeah. points, clearer to the audience, to everybody, and to the public. So stay with us, please. Hello, dear friends, my lovely audiences. Welcome back to the show, Jack Shaw on the East West with Jin Yi TV. Today, in the weekly update, we started with the first subject, the first discussion about the US China trade conflict, I call it so far. Mm -hmm. With me in the discussion is my good friend, Mr. Ken Hemming. Uh, Ken is a philosopher and he is a uh, uh, I call a very, very strong-headed person, uh, very constitutional, mm -hmm. and loves the community. I keep him, keep him, number one, for the friendship, number two, exactly, I need him to keep us, myself balanced, yeah. otherwise I'll be tilting with too much to the left. Um, well, okay. and we're succeeding. You're my weight, my extra weight. Right. Hold it all right there, I can, I can back to the show. Okay, talking about sanction, uh, my take is that in between United States and China, looking at the past 30 something years, right. it is not necessary. Because you really, if you were complaining about deficit, trade deficit, though, the door is open for the United States to make it up. How? To bring it back, to export, to export the US made to China, so they can't bring it back. Well, All right now, okay. Now they said serve themselves, I mean we, we United States set ourselves a certain limit that we don't go beyond the limit for fear it is a high tech whatsoever, right? So we shrink to, to, to the very limited cheap items. We export to China hamburgers, so for example. Mm -hmm. How many hamburgers would make $100? Mm -hmm. Right? So, you probably, we probably should sit down, do ourselves a domestic discussion, okay, still with the protection of U.S. technology, what else can we lose up a little bit? Well, are you So, do you think that's the right way to do? I don't know. And I, then, and then you talk about tariff. You know, tariff. If you see a balance, okay, no more, no, no longer necessary for a tariff, right? If you still do not see a balance, and then let's do a tariff, the ways we raise, wait for China to raise theirs, like that kind of thing. On the contrary, Cam, my dear friend, about a week ago, mm -hmm. uh, Donald Trump had signed the the uh, U.S. Travel Act with Taiwan. Okay. Right. I don't know the details. Now, yeah, detail is not. You don't. We don't have to yeah, go okay, the details, yeah, right? right. The D detail, the bottom line detail is that that ever since 1972 uh, to uh, stabilize the U.S.-China relationship, to normalize the U.S.-China relationship, mm -hmm. and then sign the, uh, uh, what is that, what is it called, uh, uh, the agreement between U.S. and China. 
to recognize Taiwan as part of China, mm -hmm. not, a, not, not, not a sovereign nation with a sovereignty, right? Okay. Okay, now, and it has been the principle as a guideline all the way till now, all the way till Donald Trump. All these presidencies before him recognize it and they follow the guideline of it. Right? Uh, the Shanghai communicate. Okay. Like uh, that. And now he signs the act that uh, gives he, that gives Taiwan the position of a country, of a state, of a nation with a sovereign team because they put he put Taiwan to the parallel exchange, mutual exchange level. Okay. That's the challenge to China. Okay. Right? Now, I'm saying, uh, my dear friend, I'm saying that we and the China are getting along so well. Why are we adding anything negative to it? Well, I... That is a part that I, I feel lost. That's a part I feel having a hard time understanding him. I think a lot of our previous presidents, and we can go back four of them, okay, mm -hmm. uh, uh, did not stand up properly for our country. And, mm. and I think President Trump is just reasserting our, our, our role on planet Earth as a leader, mm -hmm. uh, as a uh, security for uh, as much peace around the world as possible. And, and, and now I, I'm not aware that that happened on Taiwan, okay? I know mm -hmm. that everybody freaked out when President uh, Trump took a call from the leader of Taiwan. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know what's wrong with taking a call from the leader of Taiwan. No, 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 no. It's not taking a call. Yeah. It's his action, his action of, 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 of signing the, uh, the act, travel act. Anyway, okay, now, okay. let's do this. Yeah. How about that? Let yeah. me promote, let me propose that you and I go back to both do more homework I will. on this, yeah, and we'll come back for another discussion, yeah, on this thing, yeah. Right? Because but uh, one yeah. thing I can assure you, ever since history, Taiwan was China's uh, part, apart from China. Taiwan has never been independent from China oh. ever since history. But it it it, it developed its own new new identity uh, uh, back in 1949 no, the, when they uh, all no, 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 no. The identity over has always been there with the, a part of China. That's the definition. Mm -hmm. That is a definition. That is a prerequisite you and I can go ahead to start negotiation or discussion yeah. with. Well, I do know that it's always been a big question if China uh, uh, militarily uh, tried to take over Taiwan, you know, uh, would America defend Taiwan or not? I don't no, know no, the no. answer. I don't know, I don't know. If China takes its own land though, they, take, they go ahead and take its own land. I have no problem with that. Okay. Right? right? I have no, no problem with that. Okay. And we, everybody, every nation does the same thing. We wanna, wanna take our own land, resume our own land, wanna protect our own land. That's enough. That's why I said uh, that we'll do some we more both go back and yeah. do, to do homework and come back for another issue. Now, back on the trade issue, yes. steel trade, we want to wrap it up in uh, in, a, in a short way. That I don't think I want. I do not have to ask you for your agreement on this one. Sure. I just want to express myself that when there are other options than sanction. Do not use the sanctions so frivolously, so that someday you will be out of you will come out of resort. Okay, and I just don't think there are other options uh, that would happen that would end up in the same result when when you have the sanctions as part of the uh, 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 negotiation tool. Mm -hmm. So we'll find out. We'll, we'll find out pretty soon. We will find out pretty soon. Yeah. All right. Good. Okay. Now. Uh, I believe that I have expressed myself clear. Uh, normally, I don't take a take uh, on issues that uh, yeah, you... has conflicts, mm -hmm. right? But on this one, I believe I am totally involved. Good. I mean, I'm you, talking yeah. about my father country. I'm talking about my mother country. The last thing I want to see is that they fight. Right? Well, I don't, I, don't, I don't want that to happen. Okay, now. What you do not want, what you do want, okay, that's your thing, your cup of tea. However, if there is a call to be made, if there are voices to be heard, well, 
I would take a lead to voice out, to call them to come together to a negotiation table rather than push them to a sanction level. So that is exactly my dear Cam, what I'm talking about myself and we're talking about on my show. And I completely accept your freedom to have your well thought out, beautiful ideas and positions. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have disagreements. And that's beautiful. We may disagree. That's why yeah. we're two countries. Right. Otherwise, we'll be one. Right? Well, I'd like it to be one. But I'd like it to be... Well, <laughs> well, I, I really it's against, would. It's, I would. Against, it's against nature if we put them together. All right, good. And yeah. it's the mother nature made us that way. Yeah. So, yeah. you do not have to totally agree with me. Neither does China have to totally agree with the United yeah. States. Well, what nor I, does the United States yeah. agree with China. What my dream would be is that we were really committed allies to work together in a combination to just positively influence the uh, uh, planet Earth and the freedoms of then the citizens. Do not, then, that do I not like. then do not create problems. Sometimes it's the only way to get to that position. All right, so okay. we'll find out. But right, we'll, we'll, we'll know when a we'll You keep know on creating, <laughs> creating problems, and we, you will see who will suffer. It yeah. is the people. The people of these two great nations mm -hmm. are going to suffer. All right? They will, they, the Donald Trump and the Xi Jinping, they will live the same life they live. But it is mm -hmm. the people of both countries will suffer. So we, mm -hmm. China, wanted to offer to here to negotiate, and we, United States, what we offer to negotiate. So to go negotiate, mm -hmm. to talk, 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 is the only solution. Even, yeah. even talk can be arranged in between United States and North Korea. Where else you think we could not arrange? Yeah. Well, in, in what you see, though, as a problem, I see as a, a solution. So we're, we'll find out in, over a little period of time. And see, and also, what's going to happen is there's going to be so much happening in, in, in communication between America and China that there's going to be so much dilution of all of this uh -huh. panic, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and and right, like right now, the stock market's not reacting too happily with these sanctions and for mm -hmm. other reasons. Uh, and yesterday, and I'm fine by with that. closing time, they dropped for a 724. Seven something uh, points. Mm -hmm. right? And it's just paper money now. What, what, one thing I wanted to say today to your viewers, you know, decide if you're an investor or a day trader. Mm -hmm. And if you're an investor, just have, have your portfolio, have your plans for reasons why, why you buy this or not and stay with it. And over a long term, the market's gone up about 8% a year uh, uh, for many, many years. Right. But, but, but there's ups and downs in there. Okay, we'll take your advice. So it's a good long, be a long-term we'll investor. Your advice. We'll take your advice, okay. But I can't wait for that long. My dear friend, let's wrap it up and we'll be right back. <laughs>
that comes out, pops up, well, day another, day another, something like that. It, it will. Well, the right way to do is take every issue positively and sit down like me and Cam, look, sit down and, and talk. Let's talk, Cam. That's well, right. how come you have this uh, gold microphone? I don't have one. Like that kind of I thing. I stole right? it from you. Right, okay. <laughs> Let's find out where it's still from. Exactly right. right. Like on and on and on and on. Yeah. I don't accuse you yeah. for what, he, what you do. Yeah. Well, neither would you do the same to me. Correct. All right, good. Okay, what else? What else is on your list? I see you well, have a long list. Yeah, there's something really big, really, really big, okay? Mm -hmm. And that is there's, there's something called the 2018 Omnibus Spending Bill mm -hmm. that has passed Congress and the Senate. Mm -hmm. uh, and everybody's waiting to see. Let me just highlight what it is a little yeah, bit, sure, okay? Sure, sure, because sure. Uh, it's it's 1.3 trillion dollars mm -hmm. for the discretionary spending of, of for America in the next year. And basically, for national defense, about 654 billion dollars, mm -hmm. a very large increase. Uh, about 2.4 percent uh, troop pay raise for our military people, mm -hmm. uh, and and it covers all areas of military operations. Mm -hmm. And what President Trump's focus is is rebuilding our military mm -hmm. that was pretty much dilapidated and d diminished by uh, the prior eight years of our mm -hmm. pr uh, prior president. Also then, securing our homeland. Now there's $48 billion for the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, it's an increase of $5.4 billion uh, to improve the infrastructure and boats on the, uh, boots on the ground, pardon me, improve surveillance and, and physical mm -hmm. uh, barriers but, uh, and, and related technology, but nothing to do with the border wall. It's missing out of here. That's a tragedy. Mm -hmm. um, infrastructure, $2.1 billion mm -hmm. for transportation, energy, water, and cyber mm -hmm. uh, protection. But it's total $1.3 trillion, right? $1.3 trillion. And then, then the mm -hmm. other is the opioid. I'm really happy with this, the opioid crisis. We got 50 thousand or more yeah, agree, dying yeah, in America agree, all the time yeah, 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 and President yeah. Trump at least is trying to do something about mm -hmm. it and my God bless him for that. Mm -hmm. Four billion dollars in that for treatment prevention, law enforcement and school safety. So and then another two billion for mental health uh, and training and, 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 and so but now I am I, I believe uh, when you have uh, Chuck Schumer who's the head of the, the House Democrats or mm -hmm. the, the Senate Democrats say that they're getting more done with President Trump, the Democratic Party's getting more done with President Trump than they did with President Obama, is a complete disaster of words to my mind and my soul and my heart. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I am praying that President Trump vetoes this bill because it, it ignores DACA, mm -hmm. which is used by the Democrats as a big weapon to, you know, mm -hmm. as, a, as a big issue, and also the wall. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and this is more of a Democrat bill than it is a Republican bill. And I think the conservative mm. Republicans, when they're not in power, that you know say, make all the right statements about conservatism. Mm. Uh, this is almost uh, uh, collusion with the Democrats and the leaders in the Republican Party in the Senate and and the House to really uh, to imp impact negatively impact President Trump achieving his agenda. Mm. And I don't know whether he'll sign it or not. I know a lot of Trump followers mm. uh, will be very, like me, will be very disappointed if he signs it. Now, the, the good part of it, the military will be stronger and we need mm. to be strong to protect ourselves. Mm. The bad part of it is we're not getting those core issues of the wall and DACA settled. Mm -hmm. And also, there's 19 uh, government organizations in here, Jack, that, pres that President Trump uh, wants to you know, put out of existence because either the work's being done somewhere else or there's no value to them, okay? Mm -hmm. In his opinion, which I agree with, and every one of those is funded or funded with an increase from the prior year in this bill. I it think was, the bill's a disaster. Yeah. It was said this morning that uh, Donald Trump will veto it. Well, I don't and know. He He's, said you know, he said it clearly last night over his tweet that he no. will he will he will veto it. He said he might. He was considering that. He was considering, and this morning he says he will uh, probably veto it. And the, the 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 reason the reason are exactly like you said. I, I that there, there's no DACA there, right? There is no wall there, and it creates more debt for the country. We've mm -hmm. got to live within the money we've got in these, why, these people. Why, why does it create more debts? 
Well, it would add $1 trillion to our debt over 10 years. That's a financial projection of mm -hmm. the implementation of this bill, Jack. Uh -huh. That's not okay. good. Do you think We've got a shrink do government. Do you think he or his party has a better bill, better bill or another plan? He does. His party doesn't. His party doesn't. Right. Because uh, they're complicit with the Democrats right mm -hmm. now, and it makes me throw up, basically. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's quite a, a and there's visual. One thing, <laughs> there's one thing that I agree with you, probably, uh -huh. was that during Obama time, when half of the time they controlled both houses, right. the House of Representatives and the House of the Senate, yeah. nothing was done. Even the DACA yeah, thing. I DACA do. thing was put up uh, early, the first term yeah. of Obama, and uh, people did not realize that uh, they could have that issue done already rather yeah. than postpone it with a long, long tail that over lagging to, to, to narrow days. You know, I really believe President Trump uh, is willing to take whatever the heat is for doing what he believes is right for America and right for the individual citizens, not right for the power of government. And this is the thing, big government takes away individual liberty and smaller government will assure greater individual liberty. Individual liberty is you as an individual citizen, me as one, uh, you know, likely, run our own life. I likely, don't like big government. How likely do you see the chance of uh, President Donald Trump veto this bill? You know, 50-50. 50-50? Uh, frankly, frankly, I'll, I'll go, no, 20% he'll veto, veto it, 80% he'll just be forced into signing it and pretend mm. it's good by saying the military got a lot of money. So that part's good and, and uh, I want him to veto it. But nobody cares what I want. Getting, getting the military lots of money, getting uh, or but, even yeah. or even increase their salaries, yeah. those are the things that we need to, we need, we need to have it done like say 10 years ago. But that's right, that's right, right that's and right. And those folks out there, You're they perfect. do, they put up for their, their mm -hmm. golden years for our service and they deserve to, to, do, to get something. Well, one of the that's great things President Trump has been after doing. All, well, after all, in the country with a total GDP of $19 trillion. 21 now, it's 21. 21 now? Yeah. Oh, 21 now. Not funny. You're talking about one, 1 1.3 trillion is, uh, well, not even not even 10%, maybe uh, seven and a half or 8%. Or, uh, That's still negative like that. spending mm -hmm. over what you're getting. And, um, uh -huh. you know, I, 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 it also then, this is supposed to be we're, done we're, by we're, tonight, we're, okay? We're, we're used to going red. We're used, we're so, so, so becoming a normal. But a we, normal. But we can't let it be, yeah, we can't let it be the normal. In red. We run in red, we're happy with red. We're not and happy, Eiffel, no, we're not happy. Eiffel Tower is gonna paint, be painted red, that yeah. I heard this morning. They're gonna repaint the tower into a total red like 200 years ago. All right, my wow. dear friends, that's another issue You're to talk good, about. You're good, Jack. Being red, okay, let's do red, okay. Uh, uh, with me today, my good friend, Ken Hamming, we're talking about uh, this weekly update uh, there are many issues. The two bigger ones talking this is about big. number one, the, the U.S.-China trade conflicts, and number two, we're talking about the the, the bill of spending, right? And uh, probably Donald Trump, as much as I hear about it, that he's going to veto it, and I believe the chances of uh, vetoing is over 51 percent. Right, I hope you're right. Okay, good. Uh, let's take a moment out. When we come back, we'll see. In May, in the coming May, when these two guys oh, sit wow. face to face, though, Hallelujah. what will happen? So yeah. stay with us. Hello, dear friends, lovely audiences. Welcome back to the show, my dear fellow Americans. Uh, quite a few big things, major things are happening now. One of the biggest thing is that uh, Donald Trump is going to meet with the Kim Jong-un of uh, North Korea. Uh, instead of uh, uh, launching a military attack, we decided to accept his invitation to come to talk. So. Today with me in the uh, uh, weekly update is my good friend, Mr. Ken Hemming, and that is our last subject to touch for today, right? It's a big so, one. How do you think that will that happen, well, that, that will happen 
would that have been a schedule or do they have a schedule yet or is just a word the lip service so far well we should identify why the uh, north korean dictator uh has proposed that we have direct talks between president trump and him mm -hmm. and 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 i believe it's because partially china put pressure on them uh, to denuclearize mm -hmm. and and that that also north korea believes and i believe that if push comes to shove, we will, use, we will use military might mm -hmm. to deny them mm -hmm. their ability to have a deliverable nuclear advice, uh, uh, devices on top of your head and my head here. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's what did it. He doesn't want to die, but, but he, yeah, 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 you yeah. know, maybe he does. Mm -hmm. I, but yes, so that's what we're praying yeah, for. Yesterday, when upon signing, upon prior to signing of the 301, uh, action, uh, President Donald Trump did say a lot about uh, the credit that China earns in mm -hmm. the uh, in the in the in the process of making it happen of uh, the uh, U.S. and the North Korean talk. Right. right. So he gave a very uh, big credit to China as well as to um, President Xi Jinping for for working well for working that uh, towards that direction. Right. right? I appreciate that he's. I mean, he's playing with lots of fairness uh, for in this issue, though. Uh, to your knowledge, you remember if we recall last summer. Since last summer, we started the whole thing talking about the military attack. We have been even you and I. We've been doing lots of shows yes, talking sir. about how likely the military attack is going to be right. going to happen, uh, and we're even talking about. Uh, Kind of, kind of like assassination stuff, or yeah, other or, ways of getting yeah, rid yeah, of the yeah, dictator. Yeah, yeah. and uh, anyway, other ways of poss possible yeah. of getting rid of the dictator. Right, and all of a sudden, it comes to a negotiation table. That itself is explaining, or is telling, that what the international politics is. Well, Do you agree with me? You know, I still think that it's a 50-50 shot whether it happens or not. Because uh, I still don't, I certainly can't trust North Korea in their mm. words, okay? I mean, I just, there's nothing to trust. Uh, they, they, you know, way back when President uh, Clinton gave them $4 billion for them to say they would stop developing nuclear weapons, you know, the day after they got their money, they just kept going developing them. So mm -hmm. you, there's no trust in this. So, and, and it's just like uh, uh, President Reagan said, trust but verify. And so President Trump, it's going to be, it's going to be unbelievable, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, like if, if the day comes and, and we actually know they're going to be in the same room looking at each other, that'll be as big a day in my life as the day my daughter was born. Because it's just going to be okay. unbelievable. Uh -huh. okay. It's going to be unbelievable. It's going to be great, Jack. And, uh, and we when, pray for that. When talking about the credit that China earns in making it happen, mm -hmm. what part, which part do you think was the part that functions in this deal that China made? Well, they participated in limiting the the sale and delivery of goods into mm -hmm. North Korea mm -hmm. to keep them going in a in a, a viable economy. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I mean they have people starving every day over there. Okay, yeah, in yeah, North yeah. Korea, uh -huh. uh, it's it's a it's a such a tragedy. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, but so. So China manned up and, and, and you know, start, stopped importing certain things from North Korea. In North Korea, they really don't have, I don't know where they get their money from, to be honest. I mean, they've got some natural resources that they sell, and, and they're propped up by, who knows, uh, Iran, Russia, who knows? Mm -hmm. all, there's a lot of players, a lot of bad actors in there. Mm -hmm. I don't know the, uh, the tentacles of all of those. But right, but I, right now, Remember, I think I think President mm -hmm. Trump convinced China that we will take military action. Mm -hmm. We would notify China a little bit before, mm -hmm. uh, uh, but not enough that it would notify. Remember, there North was Korea. last time when we and I talk about this. We're talking about uh, China do not want to see that many of poverty, that many of uh, of a famine happen right away right. to cause a loss of death. 
Right, and neither do we. And then you were talking about along the river bank, though, there are, yeah. uh, there are kind of harbors or whatever, yeah. sanctuary uh, statement, I mean, uh, uh, stations yeah. are built up in case. In case. Right, okay. now, People would flood to China. Now, yeah, now to tighten one more step, right, which China did, that the tightening the sub that made it clear to Jin Kim Jong Un that he refuses to accept what mm -hmm. will happen to his regime. Yeah, I think they put 150,000 Chinese soldiers on the border over there, you know, to yeah. try to diminish the flow of could be millions mm -hmm. of, uh, could be of millions North Koreans yeah, yeah, wanting course, to get to yeah, China. Yeah. Once, once the is open, it's going to be uh, uh, flowing like yeah. like 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 a flood. China's got to finish the Great Wall right along that border. <laughs> yeah, good. So, and China is playing smart too. Uh, you, uh, well, but rather than later they have to deal with the refugee problems, mm -hmm. well, they jumping ahead to before to do something before it happens. Right? Look at now. And when U.S. comes to the table, will there be that uh, the direction that you destroy your stuff and here's the money, like that? Do you think so? I don't think it has will have anything to do with here's the money. I don't think we're going to, you know, beg, borrow, and steal by throwing money at them. But what we can do, if they do allow us to be in there and see the denuclearization, okay, they can keep their army. Mm -hmm. They can keep their country. We're not trying to change, you know, no, what's no, going no. on. We're, we're That's their that. problem. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, uh, then I think, you know, no, no place is, is sweet and generous like America that we would tr try to help the people have better food to eat mm -hmm. over there. We would do that, okay? Mm -hmm. But we just, you know, and we could get along with, with their leader. The United States has to do something because they need grain. They need money. They uh, do, That's yeah. the only thing they need. Right, right? Okay. Yeah. they need if food. If money can, can buy grain, okay, grain is what, what they need. Okay, now. I don't want to give money, I want to give them food. Okay, okay, whatever. And food is the thing, the, yeah. the, the, is the bottom line they want. Yeah. Okay, well, so unless they, right. they sell the, 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 the food for money to, to make the nuclear happen, well, that'd they don't be a want problem. to do that. Right. Nobody dares to buy. Look, like in America, we've got these food stamps, Jack, and people use that for buying beer and for Nobody, buying drugs. No, 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 no. Nobody they dares do. to buy to buy Korean food that we gave them. All right. That will totally be a different yeah, story. No, that, yeah, that, it'll, yeah, yeah. Give right. them food, not money. What would happen if they say yes? We're going to destroy the nuclear facility, with so on and so forth. And after a period of time, when they kind of like recovered from the starvation a little bit, mm -hmm. they come back again. We redo it. Do we renegotiate with them, or do we pull the trigger right away? Well, if they. If they fail to meet their eternal obligation to be denuclearized, but you can exist with self-sufficiency, uh, then um, then that's what we'd have to do. Yes, because we can't let it happen. We In other words, if they fail, they can. Well, of well, course. No, no, no. Put it this way. Yeah. It is the last chance they cooperate. Yeah. Right. It is. If they cooperated with us in a fake way. Uh, later, when they recover from the disaster, they come back again, go back to their nuclear pro uh, projects, and we... Back at starting light. We can start right All away. over. Right. But see, right now they're saying, like, our intelligence, which sometimes is not very intelligent, <laughs> to be honest, uh, uh, you know, thinks they're, you know, they're only months away from having their intercontinental ballistic missiles able to deliver uh, nuclear uh, bombs to America. And so the t we're running out of time. This thing either happens in May or something worse will happen. Hmm. And also, uh, it, it happens at the right moment, right? It will exactly give uh, Donald Trump the credit of accepting the invitation. Otherwise, Trump oh, yeah. will sound, uh, Trump, Trump, Donald Trump will sound so nutheaded, say, hey, hey I want to attack, here's the attack. Trump but is now the. The yeah. offer is there, and I can. Well, they say they come come over and talk. So okay, right. let's talk. Yeah, right. And then later on, if the if North Korea fails us, we can say to the rest of the world that we tried what we can. Absolutely, we did what we can. Absolutely. And then it is them who ate their own words. Right. It is our job to pull the trigger bomb. 
Yeah. Here you go, buddy. In another like big kind of development is President Trump just released uh, um, General McMaster's as the national security advisor and br is bringing in John Bolton, who is a previous ambassador to the fire, United Nations. Fire, fire. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I love John Bolton. He's a hardliner. He's tough mm. as nails. And, and he also has said many things where he disagrees with the president. And he said, the president knows I disagree on this or that, or I agree on this or that, mm. but he's a hardliner, and, and uh, he, he will be more compatible with uh, President Trump's viewpoints on many issues than General General McMaster's, who kind of just kept talking too much and not doing enough. All right, okay. Uh, my dear friends, with uh, Mr. Ken Manning, Hemming. Uh, Ken Hemming, I'm sorry, Ken Manning, my other friend, yeah. at the Water Resources, or Water, Good, I love water Quality, Good yeah. job. And Mr. Ken Hemming is my dear friend for many, many years, and he and I, we do this weekly update with lots of, uh, uh, lots of fun that I, I believe and my audience too. Today, in the discussion, we found out that the trade sanction was not, is not quite necessary. There are other options to go around. And then we're talking about the bill of spending. Well, well what if uh, Donald Trump vetoes it and the chance of vetoing is, sin tends to be over 51%. And lastly, we touch base with you about the North Korea and the United States talk well, anyway, well, we're happy that we came to a uh, another level to to wait for the talk to happen, right? Other than that, if you want to go uh, back a few months, you're talking about attack, attack, attack. So now another indication uh, to everybody: in addition to attack, there's always a chance of negotiation, and we're and, hoping for that and, in uh, May. Yeah, yeah, and also if we co quote from Donald Trump. And he gave uh, lots of uh, credit to China, who helped us pushing to make it happen. Right. All right, my dear friends, thank you for watching for the weekly update. And with my friend Ken Hemming, thank you very much for sharing. Love it. And thank you for bearing with me. Thank yeah. you for <laughs> arguing with me. And love All your right. viewers, Jack. Sure. So much.